Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. Just coming at you with a short video. I'm going to shrink wrap this 18650 battery pack. Now this is the battery pack I used from my new micro solar generator. And it uses the Verusin kit to hold together all the 18650 batteries. So I originally had plans to shrink wrap this battery when I put it together, but I ordered the wrong size shrink wrap. Now when you use a Verusin kit, the caps actually add a little bit of height to the top and the bottom of the 18650 batteries. So I had to order a larger piece of shrink wrap and uh, it takes like three weeks for it to come from China. I ordered it off from AliExpress.com. So the original width of the shrink wrap I ordered was 127 millimeters, but the new piece is actually 200 millimeters and this is the perfect size for this uh, 7S6P battery pack. Just be aware that whatever battery pack size you're using, cells and so forth, you'll have to order the appropriate size piece of shrink wrap to properly fit your battery. Now there's several reasons why I'm shrink wrapping this battery. Number one is I just want to give it an extra layer of protection. Number two, I think it looks way better, more professional when it's shrink wrapped. Uh, number three, just giving it some uh, camouflage. A lot of people have said, you know, it looks like a bomb you're building and uh, it's certainly not. It's just a battery. So I just want to enclose it and give it that professional look. The last reason is whenever I insert and remove this battery from the generator, it goes in way better because it's plastic and there's less friction resistance because everything is kind of snug in that generator and this just slides in really nice. So this is a pretty straightforward process here. I'm just going to go ahead and cut the appropriate size piece for this battery and then use my 1000 watt heat gun and shrink wrap the ends first and then do the middle of the shrink wrap the middle of the battery. So as I'm working here to shrink wrap the battery, just want to mention a couple of things. I certainly want to welcome all the new subscribers to the channel. Thank you for coming on board. And I also want to thank uh, the following YouTubers uh, who gave me shout outs and featured some of my content on their channels. The first one is Yankee4. He's from the state of Georgia in the southern United States. He has an awesome channel, super smart guy. Thank you so much for the shout out. The next one is uh, Chris DIYer. He's in Oklahoma. He has an awesome channel. He's always doing uh, new projects um, and he's solar focused renewables. Awesome guy, awesome channel. And last but certainly not the least, Micah Toll from the YouTube channel ebikeschool.com. Thank you, Micah, so much for giving me the shout out and featuring uh, my new micro solar generator on your channel. I have to say that a ton of subscribers have come over and subscribed to my channel and Micah is an accomplished author and engineer and YouTuber and I've learned so much from him and his channel so thanks a lot Micah and thank you to all the guys who gave me shout outs and to all my new subscribers and people who have shared the videos and I'm very appreciative of all your efforts. Now as I finish up the battery here, everything is smooth and tight and I'm very happy with how the uh, shrink wrap applied to the battery. I'm going to go ahead and keep the top and bottom of the battery open and not put any more shrink wrap on that. The reason on the BMS is I want to be able to access the wires and the off on uh, switches on the BMS. And for the bottom of the battery, I'm thinking I'm just going to leave it open for better airflow and circulation. Alright, so inserting the battery here goes in nice and smooth now with all that plastic. Everything is snug and tight and working really well here. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, share. Give me the big thumbs up if you can. Thanks a lot. We'll catch you next time.